In today's video, we'll be using Make Code Arcade to make our very first game. This is a great program, you can also flash it onto devices like this Meowbit. Head over to arcade.makecode.com and from there select New Project. Give your project a name and today we'll be creating our Hungry Hero. Don't worry about the, all the other blocks at the moment, just follow these steps and we'll have a game up and running in no time. At the top from Sprites, get Set My Sprite, that's going to be yours, and click on the picture, then over to the gallery. There's loads of pictures and sprites that you can choose from, and if you use the mouse wheel to scroll, you can have a look through them. For this game, we'll be using the little hero that's facing the screen, facing forward. Hit done when you've selected the sprite, and you can see it appears on the simulator on the left. Then, to get it moving, under controller, get move my sprite with buttons. Straight away, we've got a character that's now ready and moving. Next, we want to create all the food for our hero to eat. So under game, we're going to get on game update every 500 ms for milliseconds. Then on sprites, get set projectile to, and let's set the gallery of this picture to some tasty food. The sprites are gonna spawn from the same position because it has VX, which means it's, it's moving left and right, and VY, which means it's moving up and down. So we're going to use the math block, the purple function, pick random, and we need two of these so that it goes left and right randomly and up and down randomly. Set these values to minus 50 to 50 on both of these blocks and drag and drop them into the block there. Now you can see when the game updates, we've got these apples flying all over the screen and we can still use the arrows to move our sprite. We need to then go into sprites and get on sprite of kind player overlaps other sprite of kind. We need to change that to projectile. The projectile is going to be the apple. And this means that when our little character touches the apple, we want it to destroy the apple, the other sprite. So drag that red block into there, and we can even add an effect by pressing the plus button on there. I think smiles will be wonderful. So now when you move your sprite and it overlaps with the apples, it's going to destroy the apple, that's destroyed the other sprite, and it's going to use the effect. Under music, you can do little effects like to play a sound, and on info, if you get change score by one, you can have it so that it increases your score every time that you collect an apple. Brilliant. Under info as well, if we get start countdown and put that under the on start block, set the timer to whatever you like, I've gone for 15, this way it's a race against the clock to collect as many apples as you can in 15 seconds before the timer runs out. When the timer reaches zero, you'll see game over appears on the screen as well as your score. To finish off, to add a background image, click on scene and put it under on start, go to set background image and under gallery we can use either of these images for now but I highly encourage you to draw your own and I look forward to seeing your creations with this as well. Another great feature about Make Code Arcade is that when you've completed your game, you can also flash it, that means download it and run it on a device like this Meowbit from Kittenbot. Thanks ever so much for watching this episode and I'll see you on the next one.